James earns millions from internet marketing. Tim's got millions of questions. Welcome to Freedom Ocean. Now, jump on in. Welcome back, listeners, to the ocean, the Freedom Ocean, and I am one of two hosts. I'm Tim Reed, and that right there, you can't see him, but what's your name, mate? James Shramko. That's there like when is. you leave those Tim phone Reed, message James things, Shramko. isn't it? It's like when you, when, you know, Correct. Um, after the tone, say your name, and you say, James Shramko, and you get the most contorted message ever. But it's not about us, is it? It's about the Correct. listeners. It's not, mate. It is it's absolutely not. So welcome back, listeners, to Australia's most loved, profitable internet marketing business podcast. That's what we call it on iTunes, James. We call the loving name is Freedom Ocean uh, for reasons that we are here to help our listeners create a lifestyle that is full of freedom. Well, you know, uh, that's interesting about the naming on iTunes because one of our listeners said, why isn't your podcast called Freedom Ocean? And we actually covered this in one of our other episodes and it might be worth recapping what we have covered because we have covered a lot. But uh, one of our Absolutely. other listeners went went to Google and typed Freedom Ocean into Google and what did he find? He found authority listing and pages of Freedom Ocean results. In fact, listeners should go to Google and type in Freedom Ocean and see what comes up as an experiment. And what should they do when they're there? Well, click on it and visit our website and register to become part of the Freedom Ocean community. Am I Very missing good. something? And no, no, that's that's good. It was a, it was a good uh, prompt. And we actually give away the transcription for every episode to our loyal email subscribers. That's the that's what's in it for them. Yeah. And you know what? I was, I was saying to you only earlier today, James, you know, I wonder whether people read those transcriptions. And we, we know the, the odd person does, the very odd person, actually. Hello to those odd people out there that are listening. But um, there are people who are downloading them and highlighting and scribbling all over them, probably more than I give credit for. So that's great, which means that the content that we are sharing is of value, of enough value to listen to and read. And and on that point, mate, it's worth um, just revisiting some of the content that we've shared up until today's show. Um, last episode, we all we talked all about domain names, both um, yep. as a business opportunity and um, and just how you should go about identifying good domain names and registering them. Um, episode eleven, absolute ripper uh, membership sites. Got a lot of feedback on there. Got a lot of feedback on all the episodes, really, both through show notes and um, and our Facebook page. Um, I particularly liked product creation, episode five, James, something that's uh, on the tip of every internet marketer's tongue. Uh, and one more, which kind of, I think we got a lot of traction on, was episode nine, where we went behind the scenes on how we produce this show, where the idea came from, and how it got to be number one on iTunes. Yeah, that whole the whole podcast thing, and I am the first one to say that I wasn't really into podcasts when you approached me to be on this podcast. It was something uh, that I'd dabbled with. I'd definitely done interviews. I'd published them from my blog, but I hadn't gone to iTunes. And mm. now I'm listening to a lot of podcasts. I listen to you and to Luke on your other show, which is called <laughs> Small Business Big Marketing. I Dot love com. that show. It's it's that's a really mature podcast. It's going spectacularly well, and uh, it's been going for about two and a half years now. And um, I remember way back then. In fact, I think we've touched on it before. But you know, I had an idea of. I started listening to podcasts pretty much as soon as they came out, which is about five or six years ago, and dreamt of putting one together. Finally, did. And, you know, two and a half years into being a podcaster, uh, I just realised what a powerful channel they are for uh, building your personal brand, for helping educate others, for just a, basically a fantastic marketing channel for any business. And, uh, and you're finding the same, aren't you? I'm enjoying watching something that we started from scratch. I mean, we, we re- literally went on and purchased the domain name and we had ninjas build the site very quickly. And now we log into our 
email account. We can see a lot of subscribers. We see a huge take up of uh, people clicking on the links when we broadcast our transcription updates, which is you know something that proves that there's value. We get a high amount. Sometimes the link's a little bit big though, isn't it, Tim, <laughs> on those emails? <laughs> and uh, we might talk about that because that's quite interesting. Totally. The biggest controversy yet, I think, on Freedom Ocean is the size Absolutely. of that text Absolutely. We link. love a good controversy though. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it is fascinating to see, but also looking at all the search results, looking at the analytics, looking at the behavior, and of course, the sales and being able to place a commercial value on the podcast, it was something that inspired me to start my special secret project, which we sort of dropped uh, one of our prior episodes, and that, that's going along quite nicely. And that's called? Well, what I did, Tim, is I actually had a back catalogue of interviews on one of my blogs and I simply submitted that to iTunes and pretty much repurposed it as a podcast. And as we sit today, I think two of the episodes are in the top 10 right now and and some of my back catalogue are getting a bit of a workout to a brand new audience. So the key element and that, here and is... And that's called... In, I was going to say that's called internet marketing speed and... What, what you, the big word there, repurposing. I love this yes. concept of repurposing. We, we have touched on it before, but I don't think we can talk about it too much because, um, you know, uh, what it does is it puts an incredibly high value on things that previously you might just not have valued, content that you might have been sitting on thinking it's run its race, its life span is up, where in actual fact, you know, it may only just be beginning and you could be leaving money on the table if you don't repurpose content that you've got. Yeah, in any business, there's hidden resource sitting right there under your nose. So I did something incredibly obvious and the the best ideas are obvious. That's what my teachers have taught me. I actually had the person who transcribed my traffic grab product, my secret special ninja who has amazing talents, she actually logged into my blog and she posted the transcription into 60 separate posts. And my, so my job then is to come along and just read them and turn them into the audio version. So in terms of preparation and leverage, I took an existing product, I had it chopped up into little pieces, had it uh, posted in draft mode to an already existing blog and then I come along and just read them and turn them into podcasts. So I don't have to have it transcribed because I'm actually reading back the post. Secondly, I can modify the text. You know, it's 85% there. I just change it, update it a bit, move it around, make it relevant to that particular segment of my audience. And now I have some really content-rich uh, media that I can put out into the marketplace and further leverage my brand and my reach. So it's, it's been a really good exercise. And, and, and therein lies, <laughs> we, we, we're entering a lot of topics here and listeners, don't worry, we will do, do, we'll produce an episode on each one of them. We'll do an episode on repurposing. Uh, the, another topic you've just raised is it's just podcasts generally and people freak out. A, a lot of business owners that I speak to are very keen to podcast, but they freak out at maybe there might be a blockage around, it might be a technical blockage, it might be a hurdle around, oh, what will I say, uh, who would I do it with, when would I do it, all these different things, and yet you've just articulated a beautifully elegant way of creating uh, a podcast, an ongoing podcast that's ranking really well on iTunes. Um, we're doing the same yeah, with another structure, another podcast structure in Freedom Ocean. Luke and I do another way of podcasting with small business, big marketing, and the list goes. All right, mate. Well, until episode nineteen, when we'll even be bigger than we are now. Thanks for thanks for joining us, and thanks for sharing, and thanks, listeners. And uh, we'll see you in the ocean. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for diving into the Freedom Ocean with James Schramko and Tim Reed. You've just come that little bit closer to living the life you choose. Please keep in mind that the ideas, opinions, and information shared in the show are those of the hosts and do not reflect those of their past employers. And as far as future employers go, well, they're both pretty much unemployable. (laughs) 